In 20th question, missing words, one more again. Yeah, let's read this question. The ability to dash and dash a cohesive team is particularly critical in high tech firms. Okay, we're talking about companies here. So, cohesive team. Cohesive, uh, we, we know what is coherent. Coherent is uh, perfectly uh, mixing and mingling with one each other. So, there should be some understanding between a term in, uh, team in high tech forms. That's what we are talking about. So, there is something to do with corporate structure, etc. Where the dash landscape can shift dramatically in the face of disruptive technologies. Okay. Here, landscape doesn't refer to the geographical presence of a landscape, but more like uh, the paradigm, the trend, more about the trend. How do technological firms operate, etc. So, the ability to dash and dash a cohesive team. Okay. So, there are two characteristic features of cohesive team that we are talking about here and there is something that changes how the technological world operates. Yeah, the clue seems to be vague, but let's move on to the options and see which fits in best. Option A, mentor, keep, sustainable. Yeah, let's fill in. The ability to mentor and keep a cohesive team is particularly critical in high tech firms. Yeah, okay. Uh, the ability to mentor, mentor is guide and kind of uh, uh, advice in critical uh, times as to how the uh, team can operate. So, mentor for me is good. Mentor is like a coach um, and uh, keep a cohesive team. Keep, okay, mentor and probably, mentor is coaching. So, I will probably want to mentor and develop a team or something like that. Keep sounds slightly out of place for me. Keep is usually said when, when there is a physical article. I can keep my pen. I can keep my shirt, etc. I can keep my team. Not necessarily. I can maintain a team. I can I can build a team, develop a team. I can't necessarily keep a team. So, that for me is slightly awkward. Uh, but we'll move on. This The first one seems uh, perfect. Particularly critical in high tech firms where the sustainable landscape can shift dramatically in the face of disruptive technologies. See, we're talking about shifting dramatically, right? So, whenever there is a disruptive technology, for example, disruptive technology, an example is uh, WhatsApp. WhatsApp was a disruptive technology because it, it kind of changed the way we communicated and we more, more or less eliminated uh, the usage of uh, SMS. So, uh, that is the disruptive technology. So, when that comes in, it changes the way. So, we are not sustainable anymore. I mean, sustainable is more like it's a, it's, it's a permanent state of uh, thing. Here, we don't face it. And moreover, we have a slightly awkward second blank. So, we will keep it for now. But most likely, I am not going to go with this. Let's move on to the next one. B, um, shape, guide and competitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ability to shape and guide a cohesive team. Huh, this looks fascinating. Shape and guide. Yeah. So, shape is molding. It's more like mentoring or coaching. So, this is more or less similar to this one. And guiding a cohesive team. Correct. Uh, is particularly critical in high tech firms where the competitive landscape can shift dramatically. Correct. There is a competitive landscape. For example, if uh, Google comes up with Meet, then Microsoft comes up with Teams. If, if, if uh, Zoom comes up with something, what does Skype do, for example? So, these are the competitive landscape we are talking, especially when it comes to high tech firms, right? So, for me, all the three blanks seem to fit in well. So, between A and B, since B seems more convincing, I will have this, but reject this one now. Um, C, <coughs> drive, maintain and tectonic. Tectonic, okay. Um, the ability to drive and maintain a cohesive team is particularly critical. For me, the, both of these are okay. I mean, uh, teams can be maintained, teams can be driven in the sense that they can be motivated. So, both of these seems to fit in well. Um, but tectonic seems slightly out of place. Uh, where the tectonic landscape can shift. See, tectonic is used when there is a physical reference of landscape. Physical or more like, uh, like I said, geographical geographical here we are not when we say landscape we are not talking about geographical land we are talking about how the scene is how the overall trend is etc so tectonic is tectonic plate shifting all that is associated with earthquakes tremors and all that that is not something we are looking at so uh, both of these were sounded very convincing but this one wants uh, makes me eliminate this because we have a more convincing option here d um, the ability to involve and manage a cohesive team again yeah these both seem to fit in well. It's particularly critical in high tech firms where the green landscape. 
again uh, green is something that we uh, talk about when we talk about environment and the geographical landscape not when it comes to tech firms and competitiveness so i mean these two are outright rejected this was close enough but sustainable seems to be the entire opposite meaning of what we are talking to uh, talking about so b seems to be the most convincing option the ability to shape and guide a cohesive team is particularly critical in high tech firms where the competitive landscape can shift dramatically in the face of disruptive technology this fits in perfectly so we are going with b